Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we're dealing with binomial theory or we're treating the binomial theory, right? The binomial theory gives the general rule for the expansion of terms involving the sum and difference of several terms raised to a particular index or power or degree. When it comes to solving problems on binomial theory or binomial expansion, there are three major ways of solving problems involving um, binomial expansion. This includes number one, the general method, the general expansion method, number two, Pascal's triangle number three combination method so these are three methods that aid us to do expansion of several terms and what are they adding or subtracting of course, raised to a particular index, whether it's a real number or a fraction. Alright, so we'll discuss each of these methods one after the other. Let's start with the first method, known as the general expansion method. Alright, let's look at the general expansion method and see how it works. Um, let's take an example. Let's say I'm given to expand each of this. Um, starting with this. Let's say um, a plus b to power 2. Let's say I'm to expand this. How do I do this? Now, um, if you have that a term is being squared, it means that that thing is multiplying itself. So if I have a plus b Mean square, it means a plus b is multiplying itself. Now, when I have things like this, all right, a 10 in a bracket multiplying another 10 in a bracket, how do I expand? The concept is this I will use each of the terms in the first bracket to multiply all the terms in the second bracket. All right, so this is like the general idea behind uh, general expansion method. Okay. Use each of the terms in the first bracket, multiply all the terms in the second bracket. So if I look at the first bracket here, my first term is A, so it becomes this term, multiplies everything in the second bracket, that's A plus B. Take the second term in the first bracket, that's plus B. Multiply everything in the second bracket, take the second term in the first bracket, multiply everything in the second bracket, a plus b. Alright. Expand this. this is equal to a times a gives you a squared plus a times b gives you a b plus b times a gives you a b. Alright. Although it's b times a, I'll arrange it according to alphabetical order. That means I'll place a before b. So the compass and this gives you a b plus b times b gives you b squared. Alright. This is now equal to, I will now collect the like terms. I can see A B here, I can see A B here. Coefficient here is 1, coefficient here is 1. So it becomes 1 plus 1, that gives you 2 A B. Bring down this term plus B squared. So I have this after expansion. What if this was root to power 3? So for a special example, let's take the same thing, uh, A plus B, raised to the third power. What if we had this? How do you expand this? Now, we know that, we know that, uh, let's say x cubed, or something else, let me say n cubed is equal to n times n times n. And of course, this can be expressed as, I'm having n, we know that n times n is equal to n squared. So, n cubed is same as n times n squared. Use this concept here. It means that a plus b cubed can be expressed as a plus b 
multiplying a plus b, multiplying a plus b, or perhaps we could call this a square, so it now becomes equal to this one here, a plus b, into this two gives you a plus b squared, that's why I have this. But of course, we found a value for this expression, but, but, we know that a plus b all squared is equal to, that's what I did this here, I had this answer. So this is the answer for a plus b squared, so this one gives you a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, so I have this. Alright, so it means that this time this is equal to a plus b, so I'm having a plus b multiplying a plus b all squared. a plus b all squared gives you all of this value. It becomes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, have so this gives you a plus b multiplying a plus b squared. I have this. Again, this is the idea of general method of expanding or of expansion. We said use each of the terms in the first bracket. Multiply. Use each of the terms in the first bracket. Multiply all the terms in the second bracket. My first term here is a. Multiply all of this. That's a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Use the second term here, plus b. To become plus b into this a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I have this. Now I expand this. This is equal to a times a squared gives you a cubed plus a times 2ab gives you 2. a times a is a squared b plus a times b squared gives you a b squared plus b times a squared we said according to alphabetical order take a before b so because of that a squared b so a squared b plus b we multiply the give you b squared so becomes 2 a b squared 2 a b squared plus b times b gives you b cubed so i have this all right so what next here i will now collect like terms if I collect like that, I have a cube. Now, here is a squared b, that's this. Here is a squared b. Mind you, a squared b is not the same thing as a b squared. This and this are not the same. In this term, a is squared. b is the power 1, yeah? In this term here, yeah, a is the power 1, b is squared. So they are not the same thing. So I'll take this one instead, plus 2a squared b. I can see a squared b here. It becomes plus a squared b. I've taken 1, 2, and 3 so far. Take up this one here. It becomes plus a b squared. I can see an a b squared here. It becomes plus 2 a b squared. Finally, my last term, b cubed. So I have b cubed here. At this point now, if I uh, solve them, I have a cubed. This is a squared b. This is a squared b. They are the same thing. If the thing that the coefficient here is 2, coefficient here is what? 1. So 2 plus 1 gives you 3. So it becomes plus 3 a squared b. Plus, this is a b squared. This is a b squared. Coefficient here is 1. Here is 2. 1 plus 2 gives you. 3 ab squared. Finally, I have b cubed. So I'm having plus b cubed. So after expansion, I have a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So here's my term after expansion. Let's look at one last problem on general expansion method. Let's look at something else. Alright, so let's look at let's look at a final example on the general method of expansion. 
linear network by linear expansion. But let's say I have a first example, uh, a plus b to the power 4. Obviously, this is equal to a plus b multiplying a plus b multiplying a plus b multiplying a plus b. So, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the first part. But all of this gives you a plus b to the power 3. That means I can express as being equal to a plus b multiplying a plus b cubed. Alright? Cubed for 1, 2, 3. If I work on this now, this is now equal to a plus b. From our previous example, we said if I expand a plus b to power 3, our result will be a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Alright? So here's the extent, my uh, answer after expanding this according to our previous example. Alright? From here now, it's now equal to bring up the general expansion formula concept. We said take the first term, a, multiply everything here, a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Take the second term here, plus b, because plus b, multiply everything here, that's a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So I have this um, this cube. Alright, so expand this. What do I get? This is equal to a times a cubed, a to the power 4, plus this multiplying this, that gives you 3, a times a squared gives you a cubed b, plus 3, into a times a gives a squared b squared, plus a times b cubed gives a b cubed, plus a cubed times b gives a cubed b, plus 3a squared, 3a squared, b times b gives b squared, plus 3a into b times b squared gives b cubed, plus finally b times b cubed gives b over 4. So I have this. Alright, so collect like terms. If I collect like terms, I have this one first. a to power 4 plus, so I'm taking this one off. Next, I'm having a cubed b term. I'm having 3 a cubed b. I'm taking this. Look for the next a cubed b term. That's this one here. So I'll take this one here. a cubed b. So plus um, a cubed b. Okay, next up. Plus my next step is a squared b squared. That's this. Okay, have three a squared b squared, three a squared b squared. Look for the next a squared b squared term. That's this one here. This uh, plus three a squared b squared. My next step will now be a b cube. That's this one here. Plus a b cube. Look for the next a b cube term. That will be this. So it becomes plus 3 a b cube plus finally b to power 4. So I have this. Alright, so collect like this and sum them is equal to having a to power 4 plus yes a cube b. Yes, a cube b. So they can add up 3 plus 1 here. Yeah? That gives you 4 a cube b. Next up, I'm having plus. This is a squared b squared. Yes, a squared b squared. Same term, you can add up. 3 plus 3 gives you 6. Becomes 6 a squared b squared plus 
I have AB cube, AB cube. We can add up. 10 here is 1, coefficient is 1. 10 here is 3. 1 plus 3 gives you 4 AB cube. Now, finally, I have B to the power 4. That gives you B to the power 4. So this becomes the result of expansion. A to the power 4 plus 4A cube B plus 6A squared B squared plus 4AB cube plus B to the power 4. That's the result. Right, so look at how to solve this um, using Pascal's triangle in our next class.